I'm Mara Max of House of the Dreaming, here with Vampire Lounge, welcoming you to the collective. Welcome. Today we have a very spiritual guest with us, Sky. Welcome, Sky. Thank you for being on the collective. Good evening. Uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been in the community, and what fascinates you? Um, I've been in the community for about 15 years now. And what fascinates me the most about everything is fire. I'm very spiritual with that. And I bring the two together as I am pagan. And as we say, we're pagan vampires. And there's nothing wrong with what we're all about. There's nothing horrible or evil about it at all. So to you, what is spirituality? What is vampiric spirituality? Um, bonding with each other, exchanging energy, it's very sensual, it's very enlightening and esoteric. Um, why would you say that? What is to you so, um, so uh, charging, so sensual about exchanging energy? It's the energy of bringing one close to the other. And the energy builds, and the more that it builds, the more energy that you have with one another. Terrific. Very much like a bonding process between two individuals. Yes. Now, you're a fire performer as well, and you find that to be very spiritual, too. Mm -hmm. uh, what is spiritual <coughs> about uh, fire dancing? And um, Tell us a little bit about how you see it spiritual. I mean, I see it as art. It's beautiful mm -hmm. art for me. But for you, you feel that it has a spiritual connection, so can um, you elaborate? <clears throat> well, there's, how can I say this without being like, there's a lot of fire people out there who do not take the fire to the extremes of um, becoming one with it and just taking it and taking it as a trend, and it's not a trend for me at all. It's something that I've, I've become very close to and very spiritual with it. There's lots of energy surrounding it. And the thing that I find very close to me with the fire is that I dance with it and I bring it around and I make it follow me in the dance. I'm sure many of us have seen your fire performances even here on Vampire Lounge. Um, do you, as a vampire and as a fire performer, do you feed off the energy of fire? Of course, yes, I feed off the energy of fire because it's an element and it is a dangerous element but also a beautiful one at that. Uh, you have to be very careful what you're doing and becoming one with it is the biggest thing that you can bring yourself towards. Respecting it is number one um, and just moving with the flame, making a dance with you, making it respect you as you respect it. Mm, as we are alive, and so is the flame. Mm, that's beautiful. Now, is there a difference between uh, elemental energy draw and human energy draw to you personally? Is there a difference? Mm, there's a difference uh, between human and the elements. A little bit of a difference, but kind of similar at the same time. If you're surrounded by the right energy around the person, they can also bring in and draw the same type of energy that you're feeling with the elements as well. Um, that's very interesting. I know that in um, the vampiric circles, uh, many individuals feel that if you draw from the elements, you're not necessarily a vampire, but that if you draw from the elements exclusively, mm -hmm. then you're more of a um, magic user of some type, an energy manipulator. Mm -hmm. um, would you agree with that? Would you feel that, there's a, that there is validity <coughs> to someone who draws exclusively from the elements and uh, is considered a vampire? Or would you feel that if someone draws exclusively from the elements, they would be more akin to an energy worker? I say there is a difference, but you can also draw from both at the same time. If you're one with both, and you can understand both the elements and the human spirituality, you can draw from both. And I am definitely a vampire. 
I can't say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Now, how long have you been fire, fire dancing? Since 2002. Since 2002. And before that, what, uh, were you involved in the vampire community before that? Yes. For quite a while. Uh, here in New York or were you somewhere else? Or? Here in New York. Okay. Do you have uh, some uh, interesting uh, stories that you may like to tell? A little bit about how you came mm -hmm. to the vampire community or what drew you initially? I've been thinking, I've, I've been it's been in my head since the time I was a child, but never really came to actually feeding off of someone until I met Vlad, of course, Lord Vlad. And I actually approached him at the bank nightclub when it was a goth night. I remember um, it well. When they, played, <laughs> when they played Bauhaus and Alien Sex Fiend. <laughs> in the back room, <laughs> yes, downstairs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually came up to him and asked him if he fed and he said he did and that was that and then we met about a couple of weeks later and from then we drank from each other we fed from each other about a year later and have continued to do so do you consider lord vlad your sire yes i think so definitely uh, for the individuals that are out there that may not be familiar with the word sire uh, would you care to explain to them a little bit about what a sire is or how you perceive a sire to be? He's the one who um, walked me through everything, took me through the whole process, and was the one that opened me up to um, the whole vampire circle. He helped me bring it out even further. Terrific. Um, is there something that you'd like to... Um, add to our conversation to the viewers out there something that you'd like to share maybe something personal about your spirituality or something that you'd like to recommend um i could um if you're interested in seeing one of our fire shows which some of them are coming up um you can go to goddess sky claudette dot pro image guide dot com and there you can see all the updates and find out what shows and where we're going to be at. Where we're going to be at for the next shows that we're doing. Thank you very much. I think that's very important. And I think that next time I do watch one of your videos or one of your performances live, mm -hmm. I'm going to see it through different eyes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Skye, for being here with us. You're welcome. And thank you for being here with us on The Collective. Don't forget to subscribe to our next video. Uh, right here on YouTube or with VampireLounge.com or HouseOfTheDreaming.net. See you soon and I can't wait to zoom in on your perspectives. <laughs>